Good morning. Um, on behalf of the St. Augustine, St. Johns County Airport Authority, welcome to our new uh, U.S. Customs and Border Protection facility here at St. Augustine Airport. We're extremely pleased that you made time in your day to uh, come out and uh, visit with us and participate in the uh, ribbon cutting and grand opening. The Airport Authority has been working on this project for quite a while and uh, it's kind of the culmination of about a year and a half's worth of effort that involved a lot of people in our community. Uh, it certainly involved a lot of airport staff time, uh, tenants on the airport, uh, elected members in our community. It's uh, been a, a, a generally a community-wide effort to make this happen. Um, it was no easy task to get a user fee customs facility anymore in the, in the state of Florida in particular. We're celebrating the newest general aviation facility in the U.S. Our facility is the first of its kind in that it's the one facility that now meets all of the current U.S. standards for U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. Re I keep calling it patrol. I will never get that right. Um, protection. In, in the U.S., they, uh, the, the, the federal government and their infinite wisdom developed a set of standards that these facilities now have to comply with, and uh, I'm pleased to report that our facility is in complete compliance with that and now is a model facility for future general aviation facilities throughout the U.S. We're hoping to grow this facility over time to uh, be a primary access point for individuals in the southeastern United States reaccessing the United States from travel abroad. In particular, it's in the route of flight from the Caribbean. It's right there on the, on the line for most people returning back to the southeastern United States. We're hoping to uh, uh, parlay our position geographically into a much better position financially relative to activity here on the airport. This facility also employs the latest technology as it, re as it relates to Homeland Security. Anything that can be done in a large customs facility can be done here and is now available for protecting our U.S. borders through uh, Homeland Security. All right. On three, Are we ready? Yes. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, we are cleared for our approach. Have our Garmin GPS set up to fly the LPV. And look, here comes the glide path. And you're probably wondering how we can intercept a glide path when there's no ILS on the field. Well, hey, that's the beauty of WAS GPS. No ILS, no localizer, no problem. WAS gives us full vertical guidance even without ground-based navigation. Okay, next you're probably wondering why there's spit all over your side of the windshield. What we have here specifically in St. Augustine is a user fee airport for general aviation. And what that means is aircraft will pay fees to utilize this facility and then the agreement's been worked out with the uh, Port Authority in that those fees are used to reimburse the government for certain things such as the officer, a vehicle, the use of this facility as well as they, they funded this facility. What we have here is just a general processing area. Passengers land in the private aircraft, they come into this facility, it's a waiting area. And then over here we have a, a processing area where we're able to search luggage, search baggage. Also, we have what's called a U.S. visit program where four nationals have to be, they have to be what's called U.S. visit. That means they, we take a, a biographical a, a, a print of each of their index fingers as well as a photograph. And we compare that to the application that was submitted to us to make sure they match. So it prevents against fraudulent documents, imposters, that type of thing in order to protect the entry of, of people back into the United States. All general aircraft have to be screened with what's called a radiation isotope identification device. What it does is that machine picks up anything emitting radiation and it's able to take a reading of that radiation and give us the type of radiation that's being emitted. Now a lot of general aviation do have controls as such that does, does permit the actual legitimate use of radiation, which is fine. We have all that. We, we know what, what's normal and we know what's abnormal. We have the ability to download that spectrum to our scientists if we have something out of the ordinary. So it's very important that we're able to screen those passengers and the aircraft coming in to ensure that they're not, pose, they're not posing a threat to the United States. Another requirement that just came about for private aircraft, it's been in place for chartered aircraft and commercial aircraft, is you have, to ha you have to transmit to us through what's called the Advanced Passenger Information System. Every passenger that's on board, as well as some of their biographicals, their date of birth, their sex, their passport number, what kind of document they're, they're, they're utilizing to prove their citizenship, which in the air environment would be a passport, would be the required document. What that does for us is it, it gives us in advance the ability to tell who's coming into the country and to make sure those passengers are properly screened. 
could be a, an immigration problem. It could be someone who has an expired visa. We're, we may be able to detect that prior to you coming and, and tell you that, that that person is going to have a problem once they enter the United States. Or it just gives us the ability to act on any type of criminal enforcement that we may need to. Someone who has a warrant, someone who is of interest to the, to the United States as far as security. That type of, it, it, that's what it allows us to do and it gives us advanced knowledge of who's coming so that we can prepare for their arrival. You know, the best way to get educated is we have a wonderful website, uh, www.cbp.gov, which has a wealth of information. There is a lot of information on there, and sometimes it may not be as easy to navigate, but it does have a wealth of information. And you can always contact your local customs office. Um, we would be more than happy to answer questions, to give you the guidance that you need, to, to hopefully work through those processes so we can make it as easy a transition as possible when you come back into the United States. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. St. Augustine is the first city in the United States, so it just seemed to me that not having customs here, you could not arrive from an inter international uh, uh, point, seemed ridiculous. So we really pushed everything, working with everyone on the airport. We were able to approach customs. Uh, the Jacksonville uh, uh, Customs and uh, Border Protection Group worked with us wonderfully. And uh, we got this done uh, with the help of local officials here at the airport, county officials, and uh, government of Florida. We have a lot of flights that come out of the islands, the Caribbean and the, and the Bahamas. They end up going into South Florida, which is a high density area. It, it really takes about two hours to get processed down there. And then they have to turn north. Now they've got another 300 miles to come out of Florida. This way, they're able to enter the country more on their uh, destination, uh, uh, direct destination course. And they can stop in here. We can service them quickly, in and out, and boom, they're on their way. And also, we're very proud of this airport. It's all about the relationships, the community spirit we have here. It's something we really want to foster at other airports around the, world, around the country. Uh, um, and we'd like to use St. Augustine as really a role model for some of the uh, programs we've been successful in getting launched here, working in cooperation between the FBO and the airport management. Here in St. Augustine, having a user fee custom service is a crack in the door. We're opening the door to becoming a, an official port of entry, a trade zone. All these things are resources that corporations looking to relocate to a better lifestyle would be looking for. And this just broadens the scope of services that are available here in St. Augustine.